Merry Christmas, Mrs. Claus. How are you tonight? I am great, Santa. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. We are going to read you the story, The Night Before Christmas, by Clement Clark Moore. was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Ooh. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash to open the shutters and threw up with a sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering I should appear but a miniature sled and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. The beautiful scene of Santa and his reindeer more rapid than eagles, his cursors they came, and he whistled and he shouted and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the cursors they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all ta were tarnished and uh, ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, and his like a cherry. Those wonderful gifts. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Look at that hot snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bow full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. There they go. Santa and his reindeer. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. The Merry Christmas. Merry
Merry Christmas. Christmas. Now get to bed so Santa can come see you all tonight. Bye.